What's up everyone, welcome back to the Fortified Gaming Channel. We're back with more Ether 1 gameplay. So we're going, the main point of this memory is in the mine below us, and apparently some type of accident occurred that, uh, you know, affected our character in a meaningful way. So we're going to try and see what that is in this episode, see what they're talking about. A blank piece of paper. Where would it go? Hold on. I want that paper back. Yeah, put it in the typewriter. Monday. I remember waking up here for the first time and feeling sad. For a long time, I couldn't understand why I was here, but then I remembered smelling perfume. For the first time, I was happy, but I'm not sure I know why. Saturday. Today, a nurse was holding my hand and asked me to calm down. I tried to explain that I had spilled a cup of hot tea and burnt my arm. The pain was terrible. The nurse shushed me and told me my arm was fine, and when I looked down, I saw that I was wearing a bandage. Nurse explained that I had an accident on Thursday and I hardly heard a word she said after that. Somehow I managed to lose three days. That's weird. Hello, plate. This is cool. I'm really digging this game. Guitar just like in my room. Can I pick any of this stuff up? No. Okay, let's head back downstairs. Nothing in there. It's like a janitor's closet almost. Hello. Dear Mr. Harvey, as I am sure you are aware, my client Mr. H. Smith is intent on offering a particularly generous buyout of the Harvey & Co. Limited Enterprise. We would like to propose a meeting between parties and solicitors on the 15th October at our offices in Devlin to discuss a potential acquisition of assets and trade. Be under no illusion, Mr. Harvey, we are fully aware of your current financial disposition. You are incredibly interested in rectifying the situation for you. Yours sincerely, Mr. J. Dawkins, business solicitor and consultant. That sounds like bullshit to me, but no one ever wants to help you when you're screwed over like that. I need to ensure that I remember the lock combination to Devlin's side entrance, but the warden banned any of us from writing it down. Miners eat from metal plates. Don't forget. Ooh, I saw that plate up here. Miners eat from metal plates. Do -do 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 -do. Here you go. What does this say? 1670. I'm a fucking genius. 1670. I'm going to forget. Better write that down. 1670, 1670. Give me a second, I'm gonna write that down. 1670, 1670, 1670. Got it, alright. Hello, machine. There were some postings on a wall up here I wanted to read. Here we go. What secrets does the lighthouse hold? I don't know. Our beloved Field Day Saturday might cease production upon the ending of May Day celebrations. Mr. P. Field, who soon might not be able to continue with his labor pending a U.S. export deal, wanted to share some words. Thank you to all who have supported me during these tough times. New health and safety mining laws to come into effect soon. Be sure to check here with your mining warden to get an update on the new information laws, your safety, and the safety of your co-workers. Okay... Okay, so I guess we're going to go back upstairs and enter the mine. Or was it over here? Yeah. Hmm. That's it? Yeah. One. Six. Seven. Booyah! Okay, so I've been digging a little deeper into our client's personal history. And I found details of a strong emotional response to someone who once worked within the mine. An entry that discusses the mine at great length, but doesn't discuss whom the individual was that worked there. Continue to work your way down, further into the mine. It seems the center of this memory is very much at the heart of these industrial ratways. I'll contact you if I gain any more information. Interesting. How do I know what position these are supposed to be at? Hold on, maybe they're supposed to be there, all of them? I don't know. Can I go down here? There's a lot of water, but yes, okay. Ah, there we go. 
Open valve, closed valve. So open, closed, closed, open, closed. Open, closed, closed, open, closed. Open, closed, closed. Open, closed. Pull the lever. Fuck yeah. I do it right? Sounds like I did it right. There we go. Oh, awesome. Now the doors are open. Sweet. What does this say? I hear her calling as we work the ground, crying and begging for us to stop. Pleading and bargaining as we bring our tools down onto the earth, rock and metal beneath our feet. Her waves are crashing against the cliff's side and protest, cursing our industrial ventures, crying of her, her plight. Talking about the ocean. I know in my heart that one day she will lash out and we shall pay the price, but I do what I can do. But what I can't, what can I do, Mother Earth? I have mouths that I need to feed, a job that I need to do. The industrial man asks of me and I shall provide. As the machines brim with repetitive life and the crafted tools claw at the rock face, I feel the unrelenting force of nature below me, making its preparation to unleash its free-form glory upon us. So the mine got flooded by a storm or something, or by the ocean. That sucks. I guess we're going down. Whoa. Got dark. Here we are. This is so cool. Something ain't right in the mines today. A man can sense when something isn't right. It stinks up the air making sweat, making us sweat. I heard someone say they were gonna do, they were gonna close the goddamn mine down entirely. The air compressor keeps breaking and we have no manual to fix it. We need a way to cut the ventilation pipes, otherwise we'll suffocate down here. Is that what happened too? Whoa, hello. Okay, so that's a crushy thing. As is that. What are you? I take you? No. Another note. We slink and stir throughout the night, lurking through the unknown, relishing the places where only children dare to go. Dank alleys and secret fields navigated with the aim of reaching our adventurous and illuminated destination, hiding from our foes our lamp in tow. What the fuck does that mean? So we can go up there. Or we can go over here. Let's go over here Sounds first. Like sights and smells can help store memories forever. A projector? I'm not sure how they got here, but I think they relate to our patient's history. Don't worry. You won't need these to progress this evening, as they're an optional task. But we should at least give this one a try. Yeah, I want to. Can I take it? I know there's a projector back in the other, back in the tower place. The, the, the case. But it won't let me pick the reels up. The bloody air hoses have been clogged up again, which means I'm going to have to puncture a hole in the rubber pipes to clear the smoke down here, and I don't care how I do it. We had to, see, we had to seal the lower mines off to stop the smoke spreading. It's hell for the miners, and even though it's not ideal, we'll have to do for now. Foreman. And now this one. Dan, I can't find the air compression manual anywhere, which means we can't get the door to budge. It must be around here somewhere, and you were the last one to have it. Could you please find it and place it here on my I'll desk, Steve? Like this downstairs in a case for you. They'll be there whenever you want to have a look at them. Cool, thank you for that. Things we touch throughout our life can stay with us in the back of our minds. Isopropyl ethyl thiocarbamate. Reinforced glass, shatter resistant up to 72 PSI. Okay. That's interesting. What do I need that for? Okay, so we got that. Yes, let's check back here. Canary cage. I can't see nothing. Okay. 
Um, that's what I got. Whoa. Hello. Anyway, do you guys know? Nothing in there. Well, I got the music going. I'm pretty sure there's a projector back in the other, uh, back in the case, but I won't let me pick these up. Let's see, we got everything out of there. So he wants that book. Hmm. Can't go in there. I don't know what else to do here. There's gotta be something else over here. It can't just be a dead end. Hello. What does that do? Okay. Remembering the way we were. Oh, I hope that wasn't important. Me neither. I don't know what I did that for, but <laughs> that's the only thing I could think of to do. <gasps> Ooh! They were talking about they had to cut the uh, the pipes to get steam and shit out, right? Can I use my Broken bottle. Ah, look at that shit. I'm smart sometimes. Booyah, there we go. See, I know things occasionally. So it was like shatter resistant glass, so it doesn't shatter totally. It would just shatter into like pieces. The Devil's Chamber Part 1. I hear knock and call the knockers calling me deep down the mining shaft. The tenters of the sea is rolling. Brimcliff will have the last laugh. The miners left their homes that day to stop the devil within. They never returned further. Supper lost and avoid a maze of tin. We heard the blast ring out of the town. We heard the blast ring out the town before the world fell quiet. The women and children cried out. The industrial machines went silent. The waters are rising upwards in the depths where no light goes. I hear men screaming and begging have mercy on their souls. That's dark. Slicey, slicey. So yeah, I guess the mine's flooded. And all the miners drowned or got trapped down here. What is this? Booyah, industrial mining air compressors. I need that. Do I have to go put it on his desk? Let me just see if I gotta do that real quick. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to keep these videos short, but I get so engrossed in playing it that they end up being, you know, up into the 15 minute range. I'm trying to keep it. Holy shit, that's fixed. It's weird. There's the book. Uh oh. That closed. And now that's upright. Should I have explored the other side a little bit more then? If I pick this up, does it go back down? I can't. Oh, I can. 
It does not, though. Okay, well, um, before we look at what's in this reel, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, this game is so cool. It's really interesting. It can be creepy at some times. I don't think it tries to be. It just ends up being that way just because... But this is so cool. You know, the more you explore, the more you learn, the more new things happen. I really love this game. I hope you guys do too. If you do, leave a like, let me know, subscribe to the channel so you can see when new videos are released, and I'll see you all in part four of Ether 1.